for the people who don't know, I guess uh, you're very much kind of the overachiever within the classical music community. Um, you had a scholarship from the Guildhall School of Music. You were commissioned by the London Philharmonic. You're an artist in residence at the South Bank Center. So what kind of leads someone with that kind of talent and training within a classical community to say, I'd rather spend my time doing this or, or this is, <laughs> you know? Uh... You, you, you put it in a list like that, and I feel I can't really believe that. No, I don't really know what to say. I think um, it's just, um, I mean, we all went to Guildhall together doing um, sort of slightly different things. We had um, we had classes together, so we've all sort of been through that conservatoire thing, but in a kind of in different areas of it. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess um, the South Bank Centre is quite a broad... Mm -hmm. um, institution, you know, it might not be, I don't know what institutions are like here, but they must be very different from place to place. But South Bank Centre is uh, that uh, uh, great. It's great. It's kind of really broad and all ages and very inclusive, all different kinds of people. So I don't see that as a classical music, mm. just a classical music thing. In fact, it's a, it's a cross art sort of cross genre thing. Uh, I guess... You know, um, I just love playing music with Mark, Mark mm. and Marisa Kay. Um, so yeah. <laughs> that's why we're doing this, I guess, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That was the question. Was that the question? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they pretty much got it. But, um, yeah, so if South Bank is kind of the place where there's a lot of different people bringing together um, different styles of music, um, what, what would you say are some divisions that people want to put on music that you wish, like, commonly wouldn't be there like uh i thought about asking you how you would define your style of music but i wasn't sure if if that would really fit what you're doing right yeah well i mean in uh i mean the the the, the south Bank center as an institution accommodates all different kinds of things actually the other day me and race uh race dj um the after party of the iraqi symphony orchestra after party and those guys know how to party nice. and we had all this sort of kurdish dance music on it was it was it's the sort of thing where you just never would find yourself there usually unless you are you know <laughs> in in the youth yeah. orchestra you know so it's just there's that it kind of offers up all different opportunities in that kind of way i mean in terms of defining our style as a band it changes all the time uh, just like I presume, you know, your taste does, you know, yeah. you go through phases of different things and often actually with it, when you put out an album, um, you've been through about six phases. So I think the album often might have a tinge of all different kinds of things in it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feels very relevant to use terms like uh, experimental or rock and pop, and other times it doesn't feel relevant at all. It's just something, you know, depends how you want to look at stuff a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Genre can be like a, a friend and uh, an enemy. I, I don't know mm. what I'd really mean by enemy, but, you know, it, it can be a good thing and a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's listening as well sometimes when you like defining music. Sometimes it's just like, I'll just say it's like indie, depending on... Yeah, yeah. Like who, who's in the room? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and people might not. But I have to say, I don't feel personally that saying experimental helps too much. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. It does, but, but 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 it does conjure up certain sonic qualities. So sometimes it's helpful to Maybe. say that use the word experimental. Maybe. Yeah. I see. I see what you're Depending on who. Depending on who. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if if you were um, trying to ask someone what kind of music they like to listen to in order to to say to make some suggestions, yeah, you know, yeah. like uh, what so that you know what they might like and appreciate, then that's where a genre would be helpful. Hmm. So, um, what are some some like genres or terms that you tend to look for when you're looking for music to listen to just for your own personal fast okay. delicious <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. just depends uh what well, when you sort of go into a record shop or something into yeah. a cd shop yeah, well, yeah, well, what, Mark, what? Mark, Mark asked for music from. Uh, asked for asked for the Mali section. I was looking for a <laughs> band called Tanaruwen who are from Mali. Oh yeah. So I was asking where the Mali section was, and he took me to reggae. He took me to Bob Marley. 
you know. Oh, I, I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. I know where I find Bob Marley. <laughs> Marley. Has it been uh, touring with Animal Collective? You know, is that a, a fun experience with those guys? Yeah, they're great. They're fucking great. You're probably not allowed to swear. They're really great. And, um, <laughs> yeah. and they're, um, oh, they're just brilliant musicians and to play loads of really interesting music, you know, in their spare time, always addicted to it, I guess they mm. are. And um, and their live set's amazing. And we get to see it all the time. There's nothing bad to say about them, really. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I wish there was... So that it would be a bit more of a juicy question for you, but they're just f <laughs> fucking great. Really nice. Really nice. They're not even nice in your face nice, sort of like. Yeah. I'm re they're just chilled out. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brilliant, awesome. supportive people, yeah. That's it's cool. amazing. It's good to know that there, that there are definitely people like that in music and people like yourselves, you know? It's really cool. <sighs> it's, 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 yeah, really it's, refreshing it's like amazing. Actually, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of nice bands in um, the states that we've met who are hmm. who are actually really um, just in it for the music sort of thing. I think I don't know. I'm sure there's loads of people like that, but not that we've been in such close. Yeah, they're great. The Animal Collective. Oh, cool. yeah. oh, but I also was curious about um, your shirts because you also in your music videos will have shirts with like all the different shapes on it, and like now you're you're kind of doing the matchy ensemble thing. It, like, yeah. where did um, why the shapes like? When we take these off, you'll see what different fashion sense we have. Mm -hmm. And that's why we needed something to tie us together. <laughs> so you brought it just for the... can't lose each other. And, <laughs> oh, yeah, true. And um, it's just like these are work shirts, aren't they? Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. kind of, I don't know. <laughs> just makes it easier that way. We don't have to think about it. <laughs> well, I like them. So. Thanks. My yeah. friend Terza made them, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, she made them and printed them. Fucking... Yeah. That's cool. I want to get one. It's cool. cool. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you so much for coming in. It was great talking to you guys. Do we bang mics? Or? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>